everyone so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i got this makeup look this is kind of my go-to glowy summer like low-key glam um makeup look it's kind of bronzy kind of pinky um super dewy as you can tell like okay so when i first started this channel i wasn't originally gonna do regular videos or like makeup tutorials but i got a lot of comments asking for a makeup tutorial so i figured i'd just do it um, this is my first one. I'm by no way like a makeup professional by any way. I just like watching makeup videos on YouTube and I've been doing my makeup like this for a long time. I hope you guys liked this video. If you do, subscribe to my channel if you would like. I have a long list of things that I want to be, um, like that I want to film in the future. Um, but what else? Oh, so I might be doing a Q&A soon. So if you have any questions that you want me to answer, just leave them in the comments below. And then once I get like enough questions, I'll film the Q&A and I'll upload that and that'll be good. So I usually start off with my foundation and I typically don't wear a primer, but I know a lot of you guys are gonna kill me for not wearing a primer. So I decided I'm gonna start with this one. It's the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business and this is the Skin Smoothing. So like I said, I'm not a big primer girl. My problem is that most primers make me break out because I have very acne prone skin. So, oh, this is making me look even more sticky. Moving on to foundation, I use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. This is the full coverage moisturizer with SPF 50. And this is not a moisturizer, don't let the name fool you, it's like a straight up foundation. I would say it's like medium coverage. I do one pump of that and then I take this True Match Lumi Glotion in 904 Deep Glow. This is the darkest shade, obviously it's not my skin tone, but I just put it into my foundation because during the summer, I don't know if you can tell, but my skin is a little bit darker than my face. So this just kind of adds not only the glow, but it also deepens the color a little bit. I kind of do equal parts. I don't know if you can see that. And I just use the back of my hand. Sorry if that's gross, but like dot it onto half my face. And then I blend that out. So I'm taking a damp beauty blender. I can't remember the last time I used a brush to put on my foundation. I feel like beauty blenders have kind of taken over the world of makeup. And I also put foundation on my lips just because I don't like when my lips are super red. Um, I can't. I feel like I can't like envision the whole thing, you know, the whole makeup look. One trick I have is that you always want to blend down as far down as your neck, on your, as far down onto your neck as you need. And also to put it on the ears because that's a giveaway if your ears are white and your face is not. I switch back and forth between this foundation and then the NARS the i think it's the 24 hour the long wear their new one anyways um i switch back and forth between this and that one but the only thing about the nars one is that i think it might make me break out i'm not sure and this one is just more wearable it's more dewy um, and it's just more comfortable on my skin one thing that i do love from nars is the nars radiant creamy concealer this is in the color medium one custard sorry i have my mirror right here but um And I really don't put that much on. I know it may kind of look like a lot, but... Look, this is my cheekbones, and I kind of bring it to the tops of my cheekbones. And right next to my nose. And another place. Hello? Yes. Another place. Sorry, that was my dad. Another place I like to put it is on my cupid's bow. I'm, like, doing this all in the viewfinder. I'm just now noticing. Usually I would do this in the mirror, so it's a lot easier. But I do it like on these two little like humps of my cupid bow and like right there. And then also on my chin. And I do have a butt chin if you're wondering what I saw. Y'all, there's a big dent in there. In my forehead. So what me and my dad were just talking about was he accidentally turned off the water <laughs> in our entire house. I'll just go in and the seams like on my cheeks. If I think it's too dramatic, I'll just go over it again with that. Um, like foundation residue. I like to leave the bridge of my nose for last just so it kind of, um, just so it sticks onto the nose and kind of creates a straight line, you know what I mean? And highlights my nose. So before I set my face and put powder on, 
I want to finish using all my cream products, one being the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Truffle. I just ran up the stairs and now I'm really winded, just in one quick second. So with this matchstick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put it in my contours. And I don't put too much of this and I'm not looking for like a super sharp contour. Um, just kind of like a bringing warmth back in my face and a little bit of dimension because it's kind of lost in the foundation and the concealer. So with this stuff, I don't know if you can tell, but I kind of made like a little Nike swoop almost. Like it kind of comes up a little bit here and that really just like lifts my cheekbones, I feel. So with this MAC Oval 8 brush, Oval 6, Oval 6 brush, this is super old and I think this came in a collection so I'm not sure if you can still find it. But just any oval brush I feel is the best for this because it's kind of stiff and this product is a little bit on the dry side. So um, on top of these cream products it really uh, blends out really nicely but you do kind of need a stiff brush that's why I don't really prefer my beauty blender for this. So I just go in little circles always dragging upwards you don't want to drag downwards or else you're kind of maybe going to look a little bit muddy and we want to avoid that and really make sure you blend all your bronzers and your foundations into your hairline because no one wants to look multicolored and this under eye lip i kind of do like a little toothbrush <laughs> and what this does is it creates uh, let me blend it out first then i'll show you it creates a shadow under your lip, so it kind of looks like this lip is kind of like out pouting a little bit, you know what I mean? Like a little false lip injection action. So once I have this blended out just for the most part, it looks a little bit harsh right now. So I'm going to go in again with my beauty blender on, on that side that I have the foundation. And I'm just going to go over everything and kind of um, mute it a little bit and just blend. Oh, no. And just blend everything one final time. Okay. Especially around my forehead because I have a three head so I don't really know why I contour my forehead I think it's just because I like the kind of bronze effect it gives but I literally like have like a barely a three head So it can get a little bit overwhelming if I kind of get carried away sometimes I'm sorry if I keep looking in the um the viewfinder That's kind of like the mirror I'm using right now because I don't want to keep staring I have a mirror down here, but I don't want to keep staring down at it. I'm taking the Laura Mercier translucent pressed powder and I know you guys see this in literally every single one of like everyone's YouTube videos and I just want to say that I've said this before but I don't think this powder is like as incredible as make, everyone makes it out to be it's not that it's bad in any way at all but I don't think it's that much better than other powders so I take it on my beauty blender and this kind of looks like a lot but it's really going to absorb into my skin and I'm going to start Make sure you don't have any creasing under your eyes because you did do your concealer, or I did do my concealer a little bit ago. And um, that concealer creases, so make sure there's no creasing under there. Just the middle of my forehead right here, kind of like the bridge of my nose up into my forehead, just because, and a little bit on my chin, just because I don't want to be looking like a greasy mess. I've been using this CoverGirl vitalist healthy powder and this is a pressed powder it's from cover girl and this is in the shade 725 buff beige and again i just take my beauty blender i just feel like this is the best way like a damp beauty blender to really get the powder and press it into the foundation and kind of melt it into the skin without looking like it's kind of like sitting like chalk sitting on top of your skin this powder since it's like my skin tone i feel comfortable using it um on my non-highlighted areas Another trick is to bring your powder all the way down your neck where you brought your foundation because it just makes it look more realistic. Oh, one place that I forgot to scent with my translucent powder is my eyelids. I just take it on the little tip. Oh my gosh, my eyelashes pulling out. And tip and put it all over my eyelids. Sorry, my camera died. As for my cheeks, um, I kind of focus it more on the um, like the back half closer to my hairline. I don't like to bring it up too far in here or else it kind of starts to look too muddy, I guess. I hit the hiccups. 
Also, again, putting it in my forehead, even though I have a small forehead to begin with, but it's okay. Now, this just really warms up the face. And I like to take, oh, this is, a, I'm taking this on a MAC brush. This is an angled brush. It's fluffy. Um, it's from a collection, so I can't tell you the name of it. I'm really sorry, but it's just like a little angled fluffy brush. And I take the pointed part of it and kind of run it through my crease as a transition shade. Moving on to eyebrows. One thing I do is I take like a little washcloth or like a piece of cotton and then I get it wet. Wipe all of the remaining product out of my eyebrows because I don't like when they look foundation-y. Then I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz in dark brown and I'm going to do this off camera just because way too hard to do on camera but then i'll get back to you i just did my eyebrows with the brow wiz in dark brown and then i topped it off with some anastasia, anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel and this is the best clear brow gel i have ever tried um i've tried a lot of brow gels but this one really lasts all day and it makes them look clean and it just i think it's worth the money so moving on to eyes i want to zoom you guys in a little more that's really close okay <laughs> So for the eyes, I'm going to start with Max Soft Brown, and this is literally a classic. This is a Sigma E25 brush, and I'm just going to use this, go in into my crease, and kind of just start using this as a transition shade for everything. I'm going to take... Um, this another MAC color in brown script and this is kind of like a brick color it's like a burnt red this is literally I've been using this color since I don't even know like since I've been wearing eyeshadow and this is the one of the only colors I will wear in eyeshadow I think it flatters literally every eye color especially green or blue I'm gonna take it on this little MAC pencil brush again this is a collection brush so I can't tell you the name I'm sorry oh it is it's a 219 okay perfect and then I'm just going to take the, literally the smallest amount um, on my pencil brush and I'm going to run this under my eye and just really start smoking it out under my eye. I just finished smoking out that color under my eyes and one thing I do with this I take a little bit on this outer corner I just kind of flick up and I don't know if you can see it kind of creates like a like a cat eye almost coming from the lower lash line but it just really lifts the eye I think so I'm going to go back in with that soft brown and I'm going to take it on my finger and I'm really just going to pack it on to the lid. This, I feel like, has a hint of like a mauve color, which I love. So this is what the eyes are looking like so far. And I'm just going to go back and diffuse everything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Master Chrome um, Metallic Highlighter. This is in Molten Gold and it is like a gold highlight. It's super nice and it's I don't think it's that expensive. I know it's cheaper than like MAC highlighters and they are awesome. I love these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my pinky finger and I'm going to take this highlight and you see this like little inner crease like the... I guess the hollow, like the inner crease of the eye, I'm just going to pack this highlighter right in that inner crease, so just like that, and bringing it up all the way to the brow, and I'm going to follow the brow, and I'm gonna highlight all under the brow bone as well, and I'm just going to connect the two. So this is actually one of my favorite tricks. I think it really, it looks, you see like how it just catches the light every time you turn your head. 
it gives it like a really wet look that's what i'm going for and then i'm also going to go in on just the very inner corners and add this gold i don't always do this step but this is the beauty by pop sugar an eye shimmer putty powder in out of this world but i'm just going to put this on the center of my eyelids Ooh, this is actually really nice i'm going to put this all over my eyelids eyelids actually focus i don't know if you can see that yeah there's little gold glitters in there i love that one thing i've been doing is i've been taking this maybelline master chrome this is the same one that i had the golden but this is in the color molten rose gold and it's a really pretty pink color i take it on this fluffy brush this is a makeup forever a dual ended straight and wavy 158 and i take the fluffy side of it and i kind of just apply it almost as blush because it's kind of pink you know and i kind of yeah so now my whole cheek kind of has that really nice sheen to it but a trick that i've been doing is i've been taking an even brighter this is becca vanilla quartz an even brighter and lighter highlight and this might be a lot of highlight and it depends on my mood on how much highlight i want usually i don't go for the blinding look but today <laughs> i guess i'm feeling it um this side looks better see where there's just at this section where the light is hitting it especially I'm going to take just on my finger a little bit and just dab a tiny bit in that section just to accentuate the way the light is catching it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush. So this is the Get the Pretty Started by Benefit. It's the bronze, bronze blush and highlight palette. And it's so cute. It has hula... Um, Hula, California, and What's Up. And I'm going to take the California on this, the other side of this uh, Makeup Forever brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit just on the apples of my cheeks. I'm not going to bring it back too much. Now to finish everything off, I'm going to go in with this Melted Matte Too Faced Liquid Lipstick. Um, this is in the color Holy Chic. This is my go-to color. I seriously love this stuff. And um, for liquid lipsticks, I recommend putting a little bit on and then spreading it out with your finger just so it doesn't look as harsh and it kind of looks a little bit more wearable. And then when you're when it's drying, kind of keep your lips thread like this just so that it doesn't, like, you don't pucker up or you don't talk and then it kind of sinks into those cracks. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.